Hey guys, what is up? It's Hannah. Um, so, <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to uh, eat my meal after I just worked out. Um, and I decided that maybe I should kind of show you guys what I've been eating. Um, I just posted a picture maybe about, I don't know, 30 minutes ago on Facebook and Instagram. And you guys are blowing me up. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, this is less than two weeks apart. Like the pictures taken is what my sister said. Um, yeah. Yeah, these are real results and I'm kind of shocked myself. Um, I stepped on the scale yesterday, I think, or the day before, and it said, I think 7.6 pounds I have lost. However, if you look at these pictures side by side, which I really recommend that you do, it is pretty crazy. Um, not that pounds necessarily matter. Um, I don't think they matter. It's about how you feel and, um, how happy you are essentially so the reason I was talking about the pounds and um, that I was dis I was disappointed is because I'm still trying to lose weight for my consultation which is in April and if you guys do not know I am scheduled for a breast reduction um, so that's the reason I'm trying to lose weight they had asked me to lose 15 to 30 pounds so when I stepped on there and saw seven, I'm like, okay, that's good. You know, like that's a good start. But I had thought honestly that I lost a little bit more, but then looking at those pictures, I'm like, holy crap, like this is really, really, um, working for me and I'm losing like all this like bloat that I had in my stomach. That's usually where all of my fat goes to and everything is my stomach and I was to the point where I felt like I looked pregnant in my clothes and if you look at these two pictures of me side by side I was just miserable and um, I have been trying my best to follow the keto workout and the keto lifestyle and stuff uh, but with the wreck that I was in I haven't really been working out too much so despite not working out these meals that I'm making are still working for me. And that's insane, to be honest with you. Literally just cutting out carbs um, and like pasta, like bread and all that kind of stuff. I haven't had any of that, which is incredible for me because <laughs> I love my carbs and most women do. Like, it's just like, come on, like mac and cheese. Like, yes, I would love to eat that right now, but I know it's not gonna benefit me. Um, but what I've got here, <laughs> is called cracked chicken <laughs> um it's got cream cheese um little pieces of diced ham i fried up some bacon the other day and put it in there and then i sprinkle my own kind of cheese like mozzarella like however you want it you could put peppers in it you could really do whatever you wanted with it but the cool thing is is there's a lot of protein a lot of fat in it um sorry if you hear click clacks that's my puppies um i'm also having a pickle spear for lunch and then I'll probably have some berries so I've got I can kind of take you on a fridge tour if you're interested so um, I bought a lot of this diced ham so that I can use it in omelets um, I need to get more bacon too that's really good um, oh my gosh I love bacon um, what else this is a coffee creamer I've been using it's literally just generic but it's sugar-free uh, so it has a little bit of fat in it. It's got two grams of carbs um, for a one tablespoon. So it's okay, you know, and I'm trying to like wean myself off of it so I can go just to regular black coffee, but that's gonna be a while. I can drink it like that and I can tolerate it, but I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, also something I wanna show you that is really super important is this stuff so I'm going to start baking with this um, it's it's called swerve it's a sugar replacement and I tried to make cookies the other night they didn't turn out right because I didn't use the right kind of flour they wanted me to use almond flour and I'm allergic to that so I used coconut uh, flour and it just didn't turn out right the consistency was wrong and I was mad because all I wanted was a cookie but regardless the taste and the sweetness of that batch, like even though it didn't turn out correctly, I still tasted the batter and it was like the perfect sweetness and it wasn't like that 
It didn't leave that nasty, like, aspartame, like, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's got four grams of carbs per teaspoon, and it uses erythrol, erythritol, I don't know how to say it. Um, that's one of the things that you'll see if you're Googling or you're Pinteresting and pinning stuff for keto that is like sweet related, you'll see them use that kind of like sugar a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like this. Um, so I highly suggest it. I really do want to bake with it and cook with it in the future and everything. Um, I also have some shrimp thawing out in the fridge too, just a little bag, just like the little mini ones. So I found a recipe, um, I got to finish the rest of that um, crack crock pot chicken first because I made quite a bit of it, but it's delicious. And then, you know, if you warm it up and you're like, huh, I don't have like enough like ham in it, throw a couple pieces in there, throw some more cheese in there. Like it's not going to hurt you. That's like the fat that you're wanting for that keto that you're doing. So um, I got these little guys here and I'm excited because I am a huge shrimp person. Um, I'm probably going to, oh, I did find a recipe on Pinterest. Once again, that's like the go-to, okay? Like there's a lot of cool keto stuff actually that I just didn't know existed until I started doing this, um, which was literally, literally like two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, there's a recipe for coconut shrimp. And I, since I bought that coconut flour and I was kind of disappointed, I actually found that recipe and I was like, that's perfect. Cause now I can use that. Like I, I have purpose for that coconut flour. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty easy. There's a lot of them that look really easy. And if you're a big peanut butter fan, I wish I could eat it because, or like almonds and stuff like that. But that's really, um, a good thing for keto too, especially if you're a sweet person like I am. Um, Oh, okay. So since I can't have peanuts and peanut butter and stuff, I have been chewing on these a little bit. Um, these are great. And what I've been doing too is even though like I'm eating my berries and everything and strawberries and raspberries and they're all delicious. Um, sometimes I like to warm this up in a bowl, like a couple, you know, like I think the serving size is three squares, which honestly like one or two is just like enough for like, if you're having a little craving for a sweet craving. Um, but yeah, um, I, sometimes I'll warm these up and then I'll drizzle them over my strawberries, which is amazing. If you like chocolate covered strawberries, like <laughs> what you should do it. Um, what else? Then having those. Oh, and then um, I also bought these guys. So the brand is called Rebel. And these are supposed to be like low carb, high fat, uh, keto friendly. And let's see. The serving size is half a cup, um, which isn't bad because, and I, I think maybe it's because of the amount of fat and everything in these. But half a cup kind of filled me up, to be honest with you. Like, it was, like, just enough. And normally, if I'm eating, like, regular ice cream, I'm like, I want the whole freaking pint. And I told myself, no, I'm not going to eat the whole pint because there are 13 grams of carbs. And I'm trying to watch my carbs. And, you know, that's not bad for this ice cream. But only if you're following the serving size, of course. Um, eating a whole pint, I would definitely go over for the day on my carbs. But... These guys are a nice alternative, and I haven't tried the salted caramel yet, but this black raspberry is really, really good. So, I think that's all I have for you guys, but I just kind of wanted to come on here and show you kind of what I've been doing over the past couple weeks, and um, I really appreciate the feedback, and if you're interested or want to know more or you want to see what I'm doing at the gym, also while I'm incorporating these meals just let me know um hopefully it was helpful and uh just reach out to me if you have questions because i'd love to make another video on this uh going to the gym like whatever um but yeah i'll talk to you later have a good day Bye bye